Hi, fourth grade readers. Last time we were together, I talked to you about different places that you can look to find books that were just right. We talked about Mayan, Lightbox, Epic, your friends, and rereading books. I hope that you were able to use some of those strategies to dig in deep and find some books that you can be reading. Although I might do a read aloud every now and then with a picture book, I'd really like you to be looking for good chapter books that could take a little bit of your time. Some meatier books, something that might take you a couple of days to get through. But today what I wanna do is I wanna show you a book that I love, that my kids have loved, and I'm gonna reread one of our old favorites. This is the story of Max the Minnow. I think my kids liked it because it had Google eyes. Little Max the Minnow sat and watched the big fish play. Now why do they have all the fun while we just hide away? So saddling up his seahorse, Sam, he said to all he knew, I'm off to ask some fish I know how I could be big too. He went and asked a manta ray, a jazzy friend of his, who told young Max, be cool little dude and groove on who you is. And next he saw some blowfish who right before his eyes, huffed and puffed and blew on up to twice their normal size. Maybe I can puff up too, Max told his seahorse, Sam. I'll swim on in to sawfish malts and eat until I am. The turtles at the pizza cove could not believe their eyes. Anchovies were the only thing that Max left off his pies. The octopus at Needle Hut was equally impressed. He needed all eight tentacles to keep up with his guest. I like his mouth. And yes, he grew, that much was true, but mostly he got fat. And when clownfish classes passed him by, poor Max was snickered at. But on he went to Sharky's place and asked, what's good to chew? The best thing on the menu, said the grinning shark, is you. Max did a flip and swam away as fast as he could go but all the food he'd swallowed down had made him far too slow. But as he fled, it dawned on Max that brains mean more than bulk. He spied a hole where sharks don't fit and slipped out through the hulk. Now Max has learned, and you should too, that big fish aren't just made. It's what you do with what you've got that helps you make the grade. Now, that comes to our lesson for today. I want to talk to you about making a reading resolution or reading goals because we've got some time here to work hard on our reading so we're ready for fifth grade. Now, I've put down some reading goals on my notebook and I'll share them with you. One of my reading goals is to read at least 30 to 45 minutes a day. I know we've been telling you to read 20 to 30 minutes, but really you need to be building that stamina that you need as a fifth grader. And so I'm asking you, push yourself, see what you can do. Can you read for 25 minutes? Can you read for 30 minutes the next time? The next thing I've written down is take books outside with me. My kids play a lot outside and the weather's been really nice. And I wanna take some books outside and sit on my patio where I can enjoy the nice weather and sit with a good book. Another goal I had written down was try a new genre. Me, as a reader, I tend to stick with historical fiction. I like it. I like books that have happened in times that I could imagine. Um, I'm not too good with romance. I don't really like funny books, um, but I think I need to try something new. So I've written down, try a new genre as something that I'd like to do. Over here, I said, talk to friends besides Aaron about books. 
Now, I know just yesterday I said talk to your friends about books, but Erin's always my go-to. She's my go-to because we like the same kinds of books. So if I want to step out of my comfort zone and read something different, I need to talk to someone besides her. My next goal for myself, my next goal for myself is to read a new professional book. And one of my professional books that I'd like to read is something that we're going to be starting next, and that's called Reading Historical Fiction. The last goal I have for myself is to pick up a book that I started, but I never finished. These are my reading goals. I have six. What I'd like you to do is at least start with three. Come up with three good reading goals that you can set for yourself while we're away. I want you to check in with your teacher. I want you to take a picture just like I did about my reading goals in my notebook. And then I want you to stick to it. I'll be checking back in with you and we're gonna be talking about your reading goals and your reading log. Have a great night.